Hello, my name is Tim Pollock from The Ohio State University. I wanted to chat with you about our recent publication in Jackson, Fibromyalgia Hepatocella Carcinoma. FLC is a rare malignancy that affects patients in late adolescence and young adulthood. FLC tumors are often characterized by their unique histologic features and a recently discovered genomic alteration, which is a chimeric fusion protein, which is found in nearly all the tumors. In this article on JAX, we review in detail the latest advancements in the diagnosis, imaging, and management of patients with fibrolamella hepatocellular carcinoma. To do this, we provided a comprehensive systematic review of the literature by searching PubMed using search terms such as hepatocellular, hepatic, fibrolamellar, carcinoma, imaging, transplant, and um, other such um, related uh, words. In this review, we highlight the different presentation of patients with fibrolamellar hepatocellular carcinoma, many of whom present with just vague abdominal pain, nausea, or malaise. And then in particular, we highlight the radiographic features of these tumors. These tumors often present as very large tumors in the setting of a non serotic liver. The tumor can often enhance on the arterial phase and have a hypodense center, sometimes necrotic, with hyperenhancing a septi within the lesion. When these tumors are diagnosed, the most common treatment modality is surgery. Surgery often involves an extensive operation due to the size of the lesions, and surgery should involve a lymphadenectomy as the incidence of nodal metastases is all uh, often in the range of about 20 to 30%. Following surgical resection, these patients tend to do better stage uh, for stage compared to patients with hepatocellular carcinoma, but one should make sure that these patients are followed closely in surveillance because a subset of patients can experience a recurrence, particularly in their nodal basins. I welcome you to read our article in its full, and it will highlight in particular further aspects of the diagnosis and management of these patients, including not only surgery, but also systemic chemotherapy, targeted therapy, local regional therapy. And this article uh, will be important for any hepatopancreatic biliary surgeon who treats patients with this challenging but rare disease. Thank you.